Welcome back to Fireside Chats with Gaslight. Today we have a special edition and we have special three guests. So we have Zach, Bo, and Sanjay, and they're here to talk about live deck. Hi guys, how's it going? Hey Katie. Good. Hey. Um, so first up, what the heck is live deck? Well, Live Deck is a um, web-based interactive presentation tool, presentation deck, slide deck tool. Um, it's uh, built with Elixir, uh, Phoenix, and LiveView, and it is made to, particularly for developers and web designers, to spin up an instance of it and build out their own um, presentation deck. It's also got a built-in remote and presentation screen and built-in themes and template designs. Um, and it's made kind of with developers in mind who want to include their own code and different things into their talk so that they have a web-based platform to do that. That's awesome. So why did you build another presentation tool? I feel like there's a lot out there. Yeah, but they're not they're not as fun as just like going out and building your own presentation tool from scratch. I mean, like, <laughs> that's the obvious choice, right? If you're a developer. Um, so I think really the first iteration of Live Deck, it goes back a while, like over a year ago, it was May 2019, I think I spoke at MPEX New York. And my talk was on data structures, functional data structures in Elixir. And uh, like LiveView had just come out at that point and it was relatively new to the scene. And I was like, okay, I want to like show people these data structures that I'm creating in Elixir and like what it looks like when you change them. So what's the best way to visualize that? And I was like, well, there's this new LiveView thing. Maybe I can use that and just like literally show the data structures that I'm making in Elixir and then just put them on the screen using HTML. And uh, I like messed around with that for a couple of days. And then like I had really cool visualiz visualizations and animations and stuff that were just updating through live view. And so that was like really the first iteration of it. And it wasn't great because I worked on it on my own and I had like four days to like build the actual tool before I started working on my talk. And then so Fast forward to the beginning of this year, or late last year actually, Bo and I had just won the Phoenix Frenzy competition for GeoRacer. And then through that, we got a couple talks lined up. We had one in Los Angeles in February, and then we had another one in San Francisco in March. And I kind of ran this, this tool by, by Bo, and he started bringing in some, uh, some design ideas and like how we could use it to like control a presentation as co-presenters, right? So like we're both presenting at the same time. How can we navigate without getting in each other's way and things like that? Yeah, we didn't want the awkwardness of passing a clicker back and forth. And, and then also working on the presentation at the same time, it was easy because we could use something we were very familiar with, Git, to, you know, to version control, uh, working on the same presentation. And it was also really easy to show off some of the aspects of GeoRacer. We just pulled in the code. Yeah, that's awesome. That's super cool. So how do you plan to share Live Deck with like the Elixir community? I know. Oh, well, wait, wait, Katie, backtrack just a little bit. Your other question about um, uh, why build another presentation tool. One thing we didn't answer on that is oh. um, the uh, uh, it's one of the reasons too that we we didn't have that that time when we presented this winter. But one of the things we thought like with the with the power power of Live View and mm -hmm. the real time um, like the, the the ability to do really awesome real time applications, we we kind of saw that in the future we'd be able to develop features that could really like be unique as far as audience engagement, mm -hmm. being able to give a web page because do, having a web based app you can give a web page to your audience then to you know poll them or give feedback mm -hmm. and then show it displayed in the talk. So there's a lot of potentials using Live View that we haven't even added to Live Deck yet, um, but it's there. Um, and that, that's another reason you don't get that PowerPoint or keynote. Oh yeah, totally. That's amazing. So you guys are definitely going to be using it because you built it, but are you going to share it and how are you going to share it with the Elixir community? Yeah. So we, we've talked about, uh, so 
we're going to open source it, first of all. Uh, the code is all open source right now. And so anybody who's interested can go in there and, you know, clone the repo or fork the repo. And anybody's welcome to submit a pull request into the repo to add any features that you'd like to see or to create new, new themes um, for styling and things like that. Um, we're talking about in the next couple weeks here, uh, we want to publish this, uh, we want to publish Live Deck on Hex, which is the Elixir package manager. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and one of the ideas that we have behind that is, uh, you know, we could create generators because our designers at Gaslight, like not just Bo, but like a bunch of y'all, <laughs> created some really cool uh, slide templates. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to give developers mainly the choice to just run a command on the command line and say, generate a new slide with this title and this layout. And then they don't have to do any of the HTML themselves. They just have to drop the content in. Nice. Um, and we're hoping to get something, something ready with that, something packaged up within the next couple of weeks here. OK, cool. Very, very cool. That's going to be so easy for developers. You don't, it's going to oh. be like having a little designer in your pocket. You that's know? awesome. Every developer needs a little designer in their pocket. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, okay, so all three of you are going to answer this one. What was your favorite part about building it? So whoever wants to go first. I've, uh, I've had like a really fun time just working with uh, Bo and Zach and actually several other members of the Gaslight community here. Um, a lot of the time talking about this was over lunch periods or just different times where people from multiple projects at Gaslight could just hang out, talk to each other, and really have fun working on an in-house project together. Community there has been really great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'd mirror what, what uh, Sanjay said. And, and uh, the collaboration has been really awesome, working as a team. And then also, like, the mob. They, so Zach and Sanjay also led mob pairing sessions to get this done. So we have, we have a bunch of uh, Gaslighters that um, contributed um, on the project into the repo. But we, a lot of them only have like a few commits on the repo, but they contributed a lot more because they were involved. Zach and Sanjay would lead, but they were um, helping like think through some really complex things. We have, there are some complex things going on, like things we're doing with thumbnails, the ability to switch themes and some other stuff and some stuff we're still finishing up. But just those mob pairing sessions where everybody got to, um, to join in, to c collaborate together. That was a lot of fun. And even some of the designers got involved in that. And uh, a lot of designers, um, we paired together and worked together. So it was really a great collaboration. And now it's really exciting that we get to collaborate with people outside of Gaslight as well. Yeah, I kind of want to echo both of, both of what um, Sanjay and, and Bo just said. And I just really had a lot of fun um, since I had been like so big into live view since it was a, a new framework that was just new on the scene way back, you know, last year, at the beginning of last year, to be able to share that with other people at Gaslight and then show them all the different things that you could do with it and some of the ways that it makes development a little bit easier for us as developers. And then I think, you know, having Bo and a bunch of designers on the project as well, getting all you guys up to speed on, on live deck and, uh, what that looks like. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but really, I mean, we had like, we spent about an hour a week total on this, like in mob sessions. And this has been going on for a few months now, right? I think we started this maybe in, I don't know if it was like the end of February, maybe when we started working on it as a group. Yeah. I think and then from there right. we spent yeah. like one session or two sessions a week, maybe. And it was just an hour at a time. And with that little amount of work on it, we were able to produce what I think is a, like a pretty cool uh, presentation mm -hmm. engine. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it doesn't have everything that like PowerPoint has, but it's also not supposed to because yeah, we didn't build it. That way. It's, I think it's better. It's way better already. Yeah. Easy. Easy. You're not biased at all, King. I'm not biased, no. Nope, not me. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope, I think everybody's going to love what you guys created. So 
Congratulations. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, Fireside is out. And thank you for coming. Bye, guys. Thanks, Katie. See ya. Yeah. Yeah.